we had a large fire here in Colorado last year. They didn't hear about it. Um, and it came close to the ranch and we had to evacuate. And uh, boy, it was scary <laughs> on many levels. And it was about three of us that stayed behind and, and some came on and off to assist. The ranch felt very empty. No one was here. There was no movement. The cattle weren't here, the sheep, the chickens, everybody was evacuated except for us three. The electricity and all the utilities were shut off. There was a silence uh, of, and stillness that was eerie. If you've ever been in a city and it's lost electricity, that feeling of stillness, there's no cars moving, there's no clocks ticking, that kind of thing. It was like that, but tenfold. It was creepy. It was kind of creepy, especially at night. There was a sense of loneliness. There was a fear of potential, the fire coming closer. It was glowing. You could see it coming. Um, and yet we didn't feel alone because all of you and many others around the globe were with us. Yes, there are things of the mind of worry, of stress, of, of um, um, unknown, fear. Yet there was a, a truth of the spirit and the heart coming together as well. There was a truth of, the, of our minds coming together in, in faith and the larger outworking of things that allowed the heart and spirit to come through. David had shared uh, in December the experience of Chase and I, the gentleman that works here in maintenance, um, up at the hill, the fire pit, looking at the fire coming at us and about four or five helicopters taking water from the reservoir to it. And it was coming. You could see it. You could hear it. And... He and I just opened up to what was happening beyond the physical, clearing our minds of all the fears, the doubts, all the questioning, what's going to happen, what we're seeing, and opening up to something larger, to what was calling for us to do, to be. And I immediately went into chant, and I immediately, Hawaiian chant, and I went to touch the ground. And he, you could feel our connection, he and I, he was about 20 feet away from me sitting on a rock. But we could feel so much energy, so much substance coming to us, love and calmness, faith, blessing. And that wouldn't have happened if we didn't still the waters. What a powerful experience to still the waters in front of a fire. And the fire turned. The winds turned. And the helicopters and those that were on the ground, amazing team of people on the ground facing this fire, could put it out and stop it from coming, hitting Eden Valley, which is our neighbors, and they eventually could, could have come to us. I know it was because of this knowing that we have and we practice weekly, daily with each other of oneness 